योग कर्मसु कौशल नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स इज इट इंटरेस्टिंग यस योर फीडबैक से सो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी विद द फीडबैक एंड द पार्टिसिपेशन द एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन योर फीडबैक योर एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन बूस्ट अवर कॉन्फिडेंस इट बूस्ट अवर टीम वर्क यस वी आर अ टीम नाउ वी वर्क टूगेदर यू एज पार्टिसिपेंट्स मोटिवेटर्स एंड वी try to learn from your feedback and we try to improvise on the modules whatever we are producing friends today i would like to introduce another young energetic resource person he is maulik barot he is working at alpha college of engineering in ahmedabad he is assistant professor he worked at couple of other institute as well he worked at shivam institute of technology anand earlier he worked there for about 3 years and in this present institute he has been working for last 2 years he has been working for 5 years in higher education he has earned his master of philosophy degrees in english language teaching even he is pursuing his doctor of philosophy from the same discipline and that is english language teaching he is pursuing his degree from hemchandracharya north gujarat university patan he is working on experimental kind of research for his doctoral research it's a try out and a study where he is going to take a sample and will go for experiment so we got a resource person who is really working in the field in two ways like he is working as a teacher and at the same time he is working as a researcher he is interested to explore new teaching methods and approaches so that he can make his teaching more effective and he can make his students better learners he is always working on some areas where he can help his students to develop their skills he is trying to facilitate learning of different skills to his students he has published about 8 research papers in international and national peer reviewed journals even he has successfully presented various research papers at national and international seminars he is also regularly contributing to elt vibes an international journal as peer review team member he is playing various roles with publication departments of different journals as reviewer editor and sometimes as a person who guides creative writing he is also member of some international bodies like indian association for canadian studies he has delivered his sessions as a resource person at various institutes in gujarat and madhya pradesh and various other states as well friends he is going to talk about something very interesting and that is known as clt that is communicative language teaching i am very happy to invite him to the floor welcome maulik thank you sir namaskar i would like to invite you to talk on the clt exactly what the clt is will you brief us about before to start i would like to thank joshi sir to provide this kind of a platform uh, exactly communicative language teaching it came into existence with hams it basically focuses on accuracy appropriacy and structure there are various methods where the students can't have that freedom to explore the language whatever they have but here there is a space because here there is a no structure is needed only the meaning is that a person has to be communicate in the proper way the contextualizations and the content are more important rather than the structures so here the learner has a space to deliver to learn through the various activities through the various tasks communicative language teaching provides a platform for the learners as well as the facilitator because here the role of a facilitator is very less where this uh, this method when you apply it becomes a learner centered 
So that so means uh, the the teacher uh, tries to facilitate learning in the class. Yes, sir. That is what he does. Yes. So sir. here, uh, friends, it is very useful to all of us in a way that our role has changed. It was a time when our role was information provider. Teachers were looked upon as information provider and we were the only source of information. The days have changed. Now we are not the only source of information. There are lot of sources from where our students can gather information. So we have to be facilitator and that is what this method helps, this approach helps us. So I guess there are various tasks where we uh, take them and then through the tasks also we work on this method. Yes, sir. And here uh, we do not focus more on uh, writing skills or we do not focus more on accuracy exactly. We more focus on communication part of it. Yes. Whether it becomes communicative or not that is what is looked at and that is what is focused more on. So friends, we will learn more about this method and how this method can be implemented in the classrooms how this can be more effective, how can this be used for making our teaching more effective and interesting from Maulik Barot. So now I leave it to Maulik and you please carry on about the module. In this module, you will be able to learn appreciate and the differentiate between all the three technical terms, approach, method and techniques. You will be understand the basic of a communicative language teaching. You will get a background as well to understanding the communicative language teaching. You will get to know about the role of teachers and students as a part of communicative language teaching. You will learn about the instructional materials classroom, activities and the procedures involved in the communicative language teaching. This is a statement from the Edward Anthony tried to explain the most important concept in English language teaching called approach method techniques. According to him, an approach is a set of correlative assumptions dealing with the nature of a language teaching and learning. An approach is axiomatic. It describes the nature of the subject matters to be taught. A method is an overall plan for the orderly presentations of a language materials, no part of which contradicts and all of which is based upon the select approach. An approach is axiomatic. A method is procedural. Within one approach, there can many methods. A technique is implementations that which actually takes place in a classroom. It is a particular trick, stratagram or the contrivance used to accomplish an immediate objectives. Techniques must be a consist with the, a method and therefore in harmony with an approach as well. With the help of this venture, it becomes even easier to understand the present concept. Here we are going to discuss one of the approach of English language teaching and that is communicative language teaching. The term communicative language teaching also famous as a CLT is a well known approach in work that focuses on the facilitating the learners to communicate purposefully and meaningfully in a target language. Subsequently. The demand for an appropriate teaching methodology has grown more stronger than ever before. What is communicative language teaching? The communicative approach to English language teaching started with the theory of language as a communication. The core object of a language teaching is to develop communicative competence among the learners. Heim coined these terms and countered Chomsky's theory of the competence. According to Chomsky, a linguistic theory is a concern primarily with an ideal speaker listener in a completely homogeneous speech community who knows its language perfectly and it is unaffected by such grammatically irrelevant conditions as memory limitations, distractions, shifts of attentions and interest and errors. It may be random or the characteristics in applying his knowledge of the language in actual performance. Here. Chomsky tries to focus on an abstract linguistic theory that enables the speaker to proceed a grammatically accurate sentence. However, in Heim's a view, linguistic theory must focus on the communications and the culture. In the view of Heim's, one must acquire communicative competence along with the knowledge of language and ability to use it in the matter of whether or it may be and to what degree something is formally possible. 
whether something is feasible by the virtue of the means of implementations available, whether something is appropriate, happy, successful to a context in which it is used and evaluated, whether something in fact done actually performed and what is doing and titles. In addition to these, Hams has also described different seven functions of language to be utilized by while learning first language. They are as following. The first one is the instructional functional using language to get things. Second one is the regulatory functions using the language to control the behavior of others. Third one is the interactional functional using language to create interactions with the others. Fourth one is the personal function using language to express personal feelings and meanings. Fifth one is the heuristic functions using language to learn and to discover. Sixth one is the imaginative function using a language to create a word of the imagination. Seventh one is the presentational function using language to communicate information. It seems very apparent that in his present approach language functions weighs more importance to forms. Meaning is very important in communicative language teaching approach. As a part from these functions and the role of a language in the communicative language teaching, Fino Caro and Broomfield describe certain features of this approach which are meaning is paramount, dialogue if used center on communicative functions and are not normally memorized. Contextualization is a basic premise. Language learning is learning to communicate. Affective communication is sought. Drilling may occur but paraphorally. Comprehensible pronunciations is sought. Any device which is helps the learner is accepted, varying according to their age, interest, etc. Attempts to communicate may be encouraged from the very beginning. Judicious use of native language is accepted wherever it is feasible. Translation may be used where the students need or benefit from it. Reading and writing can start from the first day if desired. The target linguistic system will be learned based through the process of struggling to the communicative. Communicative competence is the desired goal, that is, the ability to use linguistically system effectively and appropriately. Linguistic variation is the central concept in a material and methodology. Sequencing is the determined by any considerations of contain, function or the meaning which maintain the interest. Teachers helps learners in any way that motivate them to work with the language. The individual often through the trial and errors create a language. Fluency and the acceptable language is the primary goal. Accuracy is judged not in the abstract but in the context. Students are expected to interact with other peoples either in the flesh, through pair and group work or in their writing positions. The teachers cannot know exactly what language the students will use. In six motivations will spring from an interest in what is being communicated by the language. Audiolingual method attends to structures and form more than meaning. Demands memorizations of structure based dialogues. Language items are not necessarily contextualized. Language learning is a learning, a structure, sound, or words, mystery or overlearning is a sort. Drilling is a central technique. Native speakers like pronunciation is sought. Grammatically explanation is avoided. Communicative activities only come after a long process of rigid drilling and the exercises. The use of the student's native language is forbidden. Translation is forbidden at early levels. Reading and writings are deferred till the speech is mastered. The target linguistic system will be learned through the overt teaching of the pattern of the system. Linguistic competence is the desired goal. Varieties of the languages are recognized but not emphasized. The sequence of units is determined solely by principles of a linguistic complexity. The teacher controls the learners and prevents them from doing anything that conflicts with the theory. Language is habit. So, error must be prevented at all the cost. Accuracy in terms of the formal correctness is a primary goal. Students are expected 
to interact with the language system. Embodies in the machines or controlled materials to the teachers is expected to specify the language that students are to use. Instead, motivations will spring from an interest in the structure of a language. Communicative approach, meaning is paramount. Dialogue, if used, center around communicative functions and are not normally memorized. Contextualization is a basic premise. Language learning is learning to communicate. Effective communication is sought. Drilling may occur, but peripherally comprehensible pronunciation is sought. Any device which helps the learners is accepted, varying according to their age, interest, etc. Attempts to communicate may be encouraged from the very beginning. Judicious use of a native language is accepted where feasible. Translation may be used where the students need or benefit from it. Reading and writing can start from the first day, if desired. The target linguistic system will be learned based through the process of struggling to the communicative is the desired goal and that is the ability to use the linguistic system effectively and appropriately. Sequencing is determined by any considerations of a context, functions or meaning which maintain interest teachers helps learner in any way that motivates them to work with the language. Language is created by the individual often through trial and errors. Fluency and acceptable language is the primary goal. Accuracy is judged not in the abstract but in the context. Students are expected to interact with other people either in the flesh, through pair and group, work or in the writing. The teacher cannot know exactly what the language the students will use. In strict motivations will spring from an interest in what is being communicated by the language.